Hi all, this is a complete guide for Ellie Vern's part of the Family Battler achievement. Timestamps will be in the description so you can easily jump to the fight you want. With some of these fights, if Dead Deck and Leonard uses a sweep and forces out your pet, just bring it back in or restart. He doesn't use this that often, so a little pointless accounting for it. For a specific fight, you'll do once. It's simpler just to restart. First up is Hobbyist Aquarist. Your first pet is Bainax, with Tongue Lash, Swarm of Flies and Bubble. Your second pet is a Spawn of Ganathus, with Jolt, Lightning Shield and Paralyzing Shock. And finally, any frog. This one needs more health than your spawn, with Tongue Lash, Swarm of Flies, and Bubble. Start with Bainax and cast Swarm of Flies. Then use Tongue Lash until Leonard enters his undead round. If Leonard forces you out with Sweep, continue casting Lash with your backup frog until Leonard enters his undead round. Once Leonard enters his undead round, refresh Swarm of Flies. Once Leonard is defeated, the Corrupted Slime enters, cast Bubble. And then use Tongue Lash until the Slime is defeated. Reapply Swarm of Flies if it drops off. If your active frog is defeated here, bring in your remaining frog to finish up the Slime. Once the Corrupted Slime is defeated, the reanimated Kraken Tentacle enters. Follow this priority with your frog. Keep Swarm of Flies active, use Bubble on cooldown, otherwise Tongue Lash until defeated. Once your frog is defeated, bring in your Spawn of Ganathus. Start with Lightning Shield. Followed by Jolt. Then Paralyzing Shock. and another jolt if you can. Sometimes this will be enough to finish the fight, depending on how much damage your frog did. If your spawn is defeated, use your remaining pet to clean up. Next up we have Beast Mode. Your first pet is a Zandalari Ankle Render. Speed Speed versions may not have enough damage for this. I didn't have one to try. With Hunting Party, Primal Cry and Black Claw, your second pet is a Cinder Pup with Flame Breath, Crouch and Volcano and your final pet, just as backup, a Shanna with Pounce and Screech. Start with Primal Cry. Followed by Black Claw. And then Hunting Party. The final round of Hunting Party should put Leonard into his undead round. If this wasn't the case, cast Primal Cry, but ideally we want to cast Primal Cry on the undead round. Once Leonard is in his undead round, cast Primal Cry or pass if it was already cast. Once Leonard's undead round is finished, the Corrupted Slime enters. Cast Black Claw until your Ankle Render is defeated, if it wasn't already. Once your Ankle Render is defeated, bring in your Cinder Pup, start with Crouch, and then use Flame Breath until the Slime is defeated. Once the Slime is defeated, the reanimated Kraken Tentacle enters. Spam Flame Breath until if and when your Cinder Pup is defeated. Use Volcano if you feel like it. If defeated, your Ashana enters. Start with Screech and then use Pounce until the fight is done. Now for critters with huge teeth. Your first pet is a Spring Rabbit with Flurry, Dodge and Burrow and then any two rabbits with a speed above 317 or with Flurry, Dodge 
and Burrow. Start with dodge and use this on cooldown, otherwise flurry until Leonard enters his undead round. If swapped out by sweep, follow the same priority. If you want to avoid being slower than Leonard, make sure your highest health backline pet has a speed above 330. When Leonard is in his undead round, dodge if off cooldown, otherwise burrow. Once Leonard is defeated, the corrupted slime enters, use dodge on cooldown, burrow if your pet is slowed, otherwise flurry until the slime is defeated. Once the slime is defeated, the Kraken Tentacle enters. Follow the same priority. Use dodge and cooldown. Burrow if your pet is slowed. Otherwise flurry until the fight is done. Next we have dragons make everything better. Your first pet is a Stormborn Weltling. With Frost Breath, Mana Surge and Arcane Storm and then any two backup pets with a bonus damage to magic ability, such as Breath or Shadow Flame. Start with Arcane Storm. Followed by Mana Surge. If you get swapped out by Sweep, just restart. Once Mana Surge has finished, cast Arcane Storm and then Frost Breath until Leonard is defeated. Once Leonard is defeated, the Corrupted Slime enters. Use Mana Surge and Cooldown, Arcane Storm and Cooldown, otherwise Frost Breath until defeated. Once defeated, just use Breath or similar ability with your remaining pets until the fight is done. Next is Element of Success. Your first pet is a Jade Tentacle with Scratch, Shell Shield and Entangling Roots. Your second pet is an Unstable Tendril with Deep Burn, Scorched Earth and Elementium Bolt. And finally a Fell Flame with Flame Breath, Scorched Earth and Conflagrate. Start with Shell Shield and then Scratch until Leonard enters his Undead Round. If swapped out, just bring your tentacle back in. When Leonard enters his Undead Round, refresh Shell Shield. Once Leonard is defeated, the Corrupted Slime enters, cast Scratch. Followed by Entangling Roots. And then Scratch until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Unstable Tendril. Start with Scorched Earth, and then use Deep Burn until the Slime is defeated. Once the Slime is defeated, the Kraken Tentacle enters. Start with Elementium Bolt. And now you Scorched Earth and Cooldown and Deep Burnt Fill until if and when your Tendril is defeated. If your Tendril is defeated, your Fell Flame enters. Start with Confrogate, followed by Scorched Earth and then Flame Breath until the fight is done. Now for fun with flying, your first pet is Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flock. Your second pet is a Snowfeather Hatchling with Falcosaur Swarm, Crouch and Predatory Strike. And finally, just as backup, a Diabake Hatchling with Falcosaur Swarm, Iron Skin and Predatory Strike. Start with Icky and cast Black Claw. Followed by Flock. If you're swapped out by Sweep, just restart.
The third round of Loch should finish off Leonard. Once Leonard is defeated, the slime enters. Cast Black Claw. And then use Flock until defeated. Once your Icky is defeated, bring in your Snowfeather Hatchling. Use Fallet Source Swarm until the slime is defeated. Once the slime is defeated, the Kraken Tentacle enters. Start with Crouch. Followed by Phallus or Swarm. Once Phallus or Swarm is finished, cast Predatory Strike. And then Phallus or Swarm until if and when defeated. If defeated, use your Diabeak to clean up. Next we have human resources. Your first pet is a dandelion frolicker with scratch, bark skin and dazzling dance and your two remaining pets are helpers. Your first one with ice lance, call blizzard and ice tomb and your second again with ice lance, call blizzard and this time gift of winter's veil. Start with your frolicker and cast dazzling dance. Followed by bark skin Now scratch until Leonard enters his undead round. If forced out by sweep, just swap your frolicker back in. When Leonard enters his undead round, refresh Dazzling Dance. Once Leonard is defeated, the corrupted slime enters. You scratch until your frolicker is low on health at which point refresh Dazzling Dance. If in doubt, just keep casting Dazzling Dance. The increase in speed is more important than your damage. Once your Frolicker is defeated, bring in your first helper, the one with Ice Tomb. Start with Call Blizzard. And then use Ice Lance until the slime is defeated. Once the slime is defeated, the Kraken Tentacle enters. Start with Ice Tomb. And then use Cold Blizzard on cooldown and Ice Lance to fill until if and when defeated. If your first helper is defeated, your second helper enters. Start with Gift of Winter's Veil. Then Cold Blizzard on cooldown and Ice Lance to fill until the fight is done. Now for Magician's Secrets, your first pet is Willy, with Tongue Lash, Eye Blast and Rot. Your second pet is a Mini Mind Slayer, with Mana Surge, Amplify Magic and Life Exchange. And finally a Sanctum Cub, with Pounce and Leap. Start with Eye Blast, and then use Eye Blast and Cooldown and Tongue Lash to fill until Leonard is defeated. Just pass the Undead round. If you're forced out by Sweep, just restart. Once Leonard is defeated, the slime enters. Start with Rot. And then use Tongue Lash until defeated. Sometimes Willy can also defeat this pet. If this wasn't the case, then bring in your Mini Mind Slayer and cast Amplify Magic. Followed by Mana Surge, this will finish off the slime.
Once the slime is defeated, the Kraken tentacle enters. If Willy was the active pet, cast Eye Blast, probably won't hit, but just in case, then Willy will be defeated. If your Mind Slayer was the active pet, then start with Life Exchange, followed by Amplify Magic, and then Mana Surge. If Mana Surge was on cooldown, cast Amplify Magic when this has one round remaining. Just pass the fill until when. If and when your Mind Slayer is defeated, your Sanctum Cub enters, cast Leap, followed by Pounce, and repeat this until the fight is done. Next up is Machine Learning. Your first pet is an Iron Starlet, with Wind Up, Power Ball, and Supercharge. Your second pet is a Dark Moon Tonk, with Missile, Minefield, an Ion Cannon, and finally a Mechanical Pandaren Dragonlain, with Breath, Thunderbolt, and Decoy. Start with Wind Up to Charge, Supercharge, and then wind up the hit. If needed, power ball until Leonard enters his undead round. If forced out by sweep, just restart. When Leonard enters his undead round, cast wind up the charge. Once Leonard's undead round is finished, the corrupted slime enters. Cast wind up the hit. and then use Powerball until the slime gets low on health or your starlet is defeated. We want the slime to be low on health when we bring in our tongue, as we're going to lay a minefield to damage the final pet when it enters. So once your starlet is defeated, bring in your tongue and cast minefield and then use missile until the slime is defeated. Once the slime is defeated, the Kraken Tentacle enters and is hit by Minefield. Cast Missile until your tongue is low on health at round 500, at which point cast Iron Cannon. If and when your tongue is defeated, your mechanical pandera and drangling enters, start with decoy, and then use breath and or thunderbolt until the fight is done. And finally, not quite dead yet. Your first pet is a blighted squirrel, with scratch, adrenaline rush, and stampede. Your second pet is a son of Seth, with Plague Blood, Touch of the Animus, and Drain Blood. And finally, any level 25 undead pet with a bonus damage to magic ability, such as Tail Sweep. Start with Adrenaline Rush. Now follow this priority. If Adrenaline Rush has one round remaining, refresh it, otherwise scratch until Leonard enters his undead round. If forced out by Sweep, just restart. Once Leonard enters his undead round, cast Adrenaline Rush. Once Leonard's undead round is finished, the Corrupted Slime enters. Cast Scratch until your Squirrel enters its undead round. When in your Squirrel's undead round, cast Stampede. When your Squirrel's Undead round is finished, bring in your Son of Seth. Start with Touch of the Animus. Followed by Plague Blood until the slime is defeated.
Once the slime is defeated, the Kraken tentacle enters. Follow this priority. Use Drain Blood on cooldown, Touch of the Animus on cooldown, and Plague Blood to fill until if and when defeated. If your son of Seth is defeated, use your final pet to clean up. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching.